our YSI sand probe. Um, we use it when you're water sampling to take a wide variety of data. Uh, it does temperature, conductivity, pH, uh, turbidity, and dissolved oxygen in percentage and then in milligrams per liter. So we've got these five sensors on here, right? Mm. Uh, this metal rod there, that's for the temperature probe. Uh, this one here is the pH, and again on this one is the conductivity. And then these are the two optical sensors, they're for dissolved oxygen and turbidity. So it's important not to damage those. Same kind of thing goes for the pH probe. It's got this glass ball on the end, and any scratches on there can affect your readings. Uh, it can make it not stabilize or something similar. it off with some DI water and then we're going to dry it off so it doesn't affect our readings. Just going to be careful, kind of dab it near the tip of the pH probe so you don't scratch it. Uh, and then you can just kind of avoid the front faces of the optical probes. So when we're actually going to take numbers from the sun, uh, you know, on and on, and then it'll probably be on sand run, and then you just hit enter, and then you're going to stick the probe into the cup, um, and rest it kind of on this, the, like the lip here on the black rubber washer, I guess, because we don't want the probes to hit the bottom of the cup where they could damage any of the sensors. So... After all the levels have stabilized, so all of these numbers over here have stopped moving, you can go ahead and start recording. So if you guys can see, there are three recording se sections on each of these papers. Each different lab may have a different recording area. But basically, all he's doing is taking all these numbers here, and he's going to be recording it on here. On the side you can see the different scales. So we've got temperature, pH, etc, etc. So there is another way to take samples with the sand. Now you can take samples directly from a lake or river. It's much more accurate because there's no change in temperature. You're not taking the water away from its natural environment. So it's much more accurate, but it only works if you're close enough to the water where you can actually throw the sand in. Now it's very important when you're using the sand directly in a river or a lake, you always, always, always have to have this cage on the top. This cage protects any of these sensors from debris that might hit it or damage it. So any, any, any time you are throwing a very expensive piece of equipment into a lake river, make sure this cage is on it. That way it does not get damaged at all.